Kids, do not try this at home. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Frank and Weenie. When you lose someone you love, they never really leave you. They just move into a special place in your heart. I don't want them in my heart. I want them here with me. If we could bring them back, we would. Since Coraline wowed both audiences and the box office, stop-motion animation has suddenly become a crowded and cutthroat arena. This will be the third major stop-motion animated film of 2012, after the Pirates Band of Misfits and Paranorman, and we're talking about a genre that only has 16 movies to its name, total! And while Tim Burton mostly via Disney and Artemon used to peacefully coexist, newcomer Leica's critical and commercial success with Coraline has put all parties on edge. As I reported earlier this year, Disney lured Coraline director Henry Selick away from Leica, only to then suddenly drop his project this year over creative differences. Then dramatically it looked like Leica would step in and save his flick Shademaker, only for them to then decide at the last moment, and very publicly, that they would not. Ooh, burn. And now Leica and Disney are competing for your Halloween dollars with Paranorman and Frankenweenie. The former has been a solid success for Leica, yet not on the level of Coraline. On the other hand, though, Frankenweenie is expected to open better than Paranorman and on par with Coraline, perhaps on the strength of Burton's name. After all, Burton is synonymous with the most famous stop-motion animated film of all time, The Nightmare Before Christmas. And cleverly, AMC theaters pair the two for a special midnight double feature. Further adding to Frankenweenie's prestige is that it will also play in IMAX, you know, so this girl's eyes can look even bigger and creepier. And speaking of name recognition, Frankenweenie has a bit of that itself, as it's a remake of Burton's 1984 short film, his first live-action work. Interestingly, Disney was so disturbed by the original film that they fired Burton and shelved it. Of course, Burton went on to become a name director at Warner Brothers, so Disney made nice and brought him back into the fold with Nightmare. They eventually released Frankenweenie on home video and later as an extra on the Nightmare DVD. And now it's its own movie. But I don't know, I think Disney's initial instincts on Frankenweenie might have been correct. Kids digging up and playing with the corpses of their pets? I myself have had to bury several goldfish and it was a traumatic experience, and I wasn't even a kid. As Disney tries to stay competitive in all areas of animation, are they letting that ambition get in the way of the responsibilities that come with making family entertainment? And is Burton still the king of stop motion animation? Let's go find out. So we're getting a lot of Halloween movies this year, right? We've yeah. had Paranorman, Hotel Transylvania, now Frank and Weenie. How many of those did you see? I saw Paranorman. Yeah, which is the better movie? I think I like Paranorman better. Oh, really? Which one did you like better? Uh, Frank and Weenie. Oh, really? How about you? I liked Frank and Weenie also better. This one is, yeah. Oh, really? How yeah. is it better than Paranorman? Well, you know, if you like a lot of the uh, history of horror film, there's a lot of layers in this movie. Oh, that really? The others, uh, well, Paranorman tried to do that, Yeah, right? yeah, but yeah. Tim Burton really layers in, you know, there's Batman, there's... Oh, really? Yeah, there's a little, there's a little... <laughs> Depending on how old you are, you get a little more or a little less. Which of those did you see? Frank and Weenie. Okay, how was it? What made you choose that one out of the other ones? Well, it's a Tim Burton film, and I'm a big fan. Yeah? Did he deliver? Um, oh, he did. It was a quaint movie, and it's cute, and it's really great. I mean, really, Tim Burton really does it well. It just seemed a bit short. Like, it felt like it could have been elaborated a bit, but... It's stop motion. It takes a long time yeah. to make, so <laughs> They're I feel like guess. that's enough. <laughs> yeah. I felt like even though this was kind of a dark film, I felt like this was more suitable for like um, an overall audience. Oh, I see. It's a learning experience. It, he teaches the kids to to explore and to learn about science, and um, the idea of stealing ideas or whatever is wrong and good and evil, etc. you know? <laughs> it's dark, but it brings a tear to your eye, and you know, it's for the younger or the older. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Does it remind you of any pets? Do you have any pets that you want to bring back? Uh, I did have beagles when I was a kid, yeah? so yeah, I did have a dog. Uh, I'm a dog guy. What would you say to parents out there who might feel it's a little bit touchy, the subject matter, you know, with dealing with pets and everything? Um, I guess you have to use your own discretion. You have to know your child and mm -hmm. what's suitable for your child. I know that my son doesn't scare easily, and he's very, he can kind of analyze and he understands what's going on. He's seven, so, and he, um, he really likes going to the movies a lot, and we've seen a lot of uh, different kinds of movies. They used to hardly ever make stop motion animation, and now this year you've seen two stop motion films. Yeah, Are I they... like it. It brings back some memories from childhood, you know, like in oh, the, yeah. 
the ones, the Christmas uh, yeah, ones oh, from yeah, when I from was a kid. Television, right? Yeah, I think stop motion is amazing. I respect them. It's such a difficult animation to do, and they put in the time, so I enjoy them, oh, and I will see them. What do you give the film on a 1 to 10? 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. I will give it a 10. I would say it's a, about a 10. What did you give it on a 1 to 10? 10. I would probably give it about a 7. All hail the king, as Tim Burton still clearly rules stop motion animation, with audiences overall giving Frank and Weenie a 9.5. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AM Sampire 25, and I hope we'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.